Um, at 79 years old, Biden is testing the boundaries of not just his age, but of the presidency, too. <coughs> now, um, coming, <coughs> now, coming out of Washington, D.C., um, President Biden leaves, um, Tuesday night for, for a four-day trip that will take him to the Middle East. He will be presumably more rested than he would have been had he followed um, his original plan. Now, the trip was initially tacked onto another journey last month into Europe, which would have made for an arduous 10-day um, overseas trek until it became clear that, that President Biden's team that such extended that such a extended time travel would be unnecessarily taxing for a guy who, who's damn near 80 years old. Um, aides also um, had cited political and diplomatic reasons to reorganize the extra stops as a separate trip weeks later. Now, the reality, the reality setting in here is that managing the schedule of the oldest president in American history um, presents a distinct challenge. Now, President Biden insists that, insists that he plans um, to run for a second term, but his age has increasingly become an uncomfortable issue for him, his team, and his party. Um, now, just a year and a half into his first term, um, um, President Biden is already more than a year older than Ronald Reagan was at the end of his two terms. If he, ca if he um, mounts another campaign in 2024, President Biden would be asking the country to elect a leader who would, be damn, who would be damn near 87 at the end of his tenure, testing the outer boundaries of age in the presidency. Now, polls show many Americans consider Biden to be too old, which is also the same thing with Trump, and some Democratic strategists do not think he should run again. It is unsurprisingly a sensitive topic in the West Wing. Now, if you go from interviews, some sanctioned by the White House and some not, more than a dozen current and former senior officials and advisors have reported that, that President Biden remained int intellectually engaged, asking smart questions at meetings, grilling aides on points of disputes, calling them late at night, picking out that weak point on page 14 of a memo, and writing speeches like his abortion remarks on Friday night up until the last minute. Um... They acknowledge that President Biden looks older than just a few years ago, a political liability that cannot be solved by traditional White House st um, stratagems like staff make like staff shakeups or new com uh, or new communication plans. But his energy level, which is impressive for a man of his age, is not is not what it w once was. But some aides quietly watch out for him. He often shovels when he walks, and aides worry he will trip on a wire. But he stumbles over words during public events, and they hold their breath to see if he makes it to the end without a gaffe. Which was impossible without Trump doing that, but you know. Um, although White House officials insist that they make no special accommodations the way that Reagan's team did, they privately tried to guard um, President Biden's weekends in Delaware as much as possible. But he is generally a five, a five, a five or a five and a half day a week president, although he's called at any hour regardless of the day is needed. He stays out of the public view at night and has taken part in fewer than half as many news conferences or, or interviews. As, as, as his former predecessors. Now, um, now President Biden is, is, um, fell while dismounting a bicycle last month. White House officials ruefully noticed that it was among the top stories of the week, but never mind that the president works out, works out five mornings a week, often with the physical trainer, or that many men his age hardly ever ride bikes anymore. Have you ever seen Trump try to ride a bike? Um, no. Now, now, Biden himself has, has said, has had, has said, has said questions about his fitness, and they are reasonable to ask, even as he reassures Americans that he's in good shape. Even for some of my result, the question is whether that is whether that will last six more years. I do feel that it's inappropriate to seek that office after you're 80 or in your 80s, um, said David um, Gergen, who's a top advisor to four different presidents. He basically, basically, Dave Jurgen has also just turned 80, and he um, and he um, and he has found out that over the last two or three years. He thinks it would be un <clears throat> he thinks it would be unwise for for him to try to run any organization, and you're not quite as sharp as you once were. Everyone ages differently, of course, and some experts put President Biden in a category of super agers who remain unusually fit as they advance in years. But right now, there's no evidence that the age of Biden should matter what should matter should matter one ounce. Um, this is what S. J. Oshansky. A longevity specialist at the University of Illinois of, at Chicago, who studied the candidates' ages in 2020. If people don't like his policies, 
and they don't like what he says, that's fine. They can vote for someone else, but that's got but but it's got nothing to do with how old a person really is. Now still, now still the professor um um Oshansky said it was it was legitimate to wonder if that would remain so at the age of eighty six, which is how old Biden would possibly be at the end of a second term. That's the right question to be asking. He said, "You can't sugarcoat anything, or the age in any way. But things go wrong as we get older, and the and the risks um, rise the older that we get." Um, the White House rejected the idea that that President Biden was anything other than a seven day um, a seven day commander in chief. Now, President Biden works every day, and because chief executives can perform their duties from anywhere in the world, it has long been common for them to spend weekends away from the White House. Andrew Bates, a deputy press secretary, said after this article was published online. Now, the president's medical report in November had indicated that he had atri um, atrial uh, um, fib fibrillation, but that it was sta that it was stable and, as uh, and asymptomatic. Um, now, President Biden's ambulatory gait is perceptibly stiffer and less fluid than it was a year or so ago, but uh, um, and his and his gastroesophageal reflux causes him to cough and clear his throat and symptoms that certainly seem to be more frequent and more pronounced. Now, overall, Dr. Kevin um, O'Connor, who was President Biden's physician, had, had basically gave him a clean bill of health, um, which was at, um, at the time when President Biden took office, he was 78, and he was fit to successfully execute the duties, um, execute the duties of the um, presidency. The questions about, Biden's, um, about President Biden's fitness have nonetheless taken a toll on his public standing. Back in June, a survey by, by Harvard Center for American Political um, Studies and the Harris Poll, 64% of voters believed he was showing that he's too old to be president, including 60% of respondents 65 and older. Now if, you think, now, if you think Biden's too fucking old, then Trump is also too fucking old to be, um, to be squatter again. So basically, if you think Biden's too old, then Trump shouldn't even be able to run then because he would be too old too. Um, now, President Biden's public appearance has fueled that perception. His speeches can be fl can be flat and listless. He sometimes loses his train of thought, which is common for people that old, and he has trouble summoning names or appears moment uh, momentarily confused, like Trump. More than once, he has promo he has prom he has promoted um, um promoted Vice President Kamala Harris by calling her President Harris. Um, but President Biden, who overcame a childhood stutter, stumbles over words like kleptocrat um klept um kleptocracy. He has said Iranian. He has said Iranian when he meant Ukrainian, and several times he called Senator Mark um, Mark Warner, Democrat of Virginia, John, confusing him with the late Republican senator of that name from Virginia. Now Republicans and conservative media gleefully highlight such moments, posting viral videos, sometimes exaggerating or distorting, to make Biden look even worse than what he is. But the White House has but the White House has had to walk back some of his ad comment ad 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 libbed comments, such as when he vowed um about a military response if China attacks Taiwan or declared that President Vladimir Putin um cannot remain in power in Russia, which is true he shouldn't be. Now President Biden has famously has is famously prone to gaps, even when he was younger, and aides pointed to his marathon meetings with um with families of mass shooting victims or his work in the rope line during a trip to Cleveland um this past weekend as evidence of stamina. Now, Mike Donilon, a senior advisor who began working for President Biden some 40 years ago, said that he has not seen any change. On the way back from long trips when the staff is wiped out, um, President Biden will want to spend four hours planning how we <coughs> on how we hit the ground running on domestic policy when all much younger staffers want to do is sleep. Now, President Biden is not, the, is not the first president to confront questions of his age. The issue came up repeatedly under, president, um, under um, the former squatter Trump, who was four years younger, but Trump's diminished vocabulary and tendency to meander, sometimes incoherent remarks, light office schedule, and struggles to process information, led, led critics to conclude that he was in a decline. At one point, he had trouble lifting a glass of water to his lips and stepping down a ramp, and he also made an unexplained trip to the hospital. By the end of his term, he was boasting about passing a cognitive test meant to detect signs of dementia. So even, even if Trump runs again in 2024, he, it would be a contest between two men. Who would serve until their 80s? Now, until until now, uh, until until President Biden came along, the oldest president to ever serve office was Ronald Reagan. When a poor debate performance in 1984 briefly threatened his re-election, he recovered in his next encounter by joking that he would not exploit his opponent's youth and, ex and, and experience. 
Now Reagan, <coughs> now Ronald Reagan understood this issue, both intuitively and he had thought it through. Said his bi said his biographer Lou Cannon, and he and he said age will be an issue if I act old and it, and it won't if I don't. By Reagan by Reagan's final years in office, a new set of age secretly assessed whether he might have to be removed from office under the Twenty Fifth Amendment's um, disability clause. But ultimately, it concluded that he was still fit. Five years after leaving the um, after leaving the White House, he was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease. Now, still, age tried to limit his schedule, monitored sharply by the First Lady Nancy Reagan. That's one of the first lessons we had to not overschedule. Recalled Tom Griscom, who was one of his top aides. Nor should they send exe should they send excessive briefing papers at night. Now, after a couple of weeks, we have to we have to wonder. And a message came back down from Mr. from Miss from Nancy Reagan asking not to send so much up in the evening because he would read it all staying up late. Now President Biden's um, adv um advisors say that he resists such management, and he pushes himself in the other direction. He's driving additions to his schedule all the time. Whether it's a new CEO calls or night meetings with members, um, said Jennifer um O'Malley Dillon, the deputy chief of staff who oversees his calendar. Now, the aides are cautious about exposing him to the coronavirus. Now, aides are tested once a week, and they wear colored wristbands on the day of their test if they plan to attend a meeting with a president or, or another person. Then they, must, then they must test that morning, too, and wear the N95 masks. Now, the White House seems equally determined to guard President Biden against unscripted interactions with the news media. Um, since, Bi since Biden was elected over a year ago, he's only had 16... Um, he's only... Um, he has held just only 16 news conferences since taking office, less than half as many as Trump, Barack Obama, and George W. Bush had by this stage, less than a third as many as Bill Clinton and George W. Bush, um, George H. W. Bush, sorry, according to Martha, um, Martha K Kumar, who's a longtime scholar of the presidential media strategy. Now, likewise, Mr. Um, President Biden has given just 30 interviews, which is far fewer than what Trump did, 116, Obama with 198. And the younger but and the younger Mr. Um, the younger Bush at seventy one, and um and Bill Clinton seventy five and the older um and the older um George um H W Bush eighty six, now Biden has been more accessible, taking a few questions, informally after a speech or other event, which he has done two hundred ninety times compared to Trump by two hundred thirteen, and sixty four by Obama, now during his European trip last month, foreign leaders followed his lead while protectively treated him like a like a distinguished elderly, relative. At a photo opportunity, Chancellor Olaf Scholz of Germany gently pointed, um, um, pointed President Biden in the direction of the cameras. Just before a meeting, a reporter twice shouted a question about getting grain out of Ukraine. When President Biden could not hear the question, Boris Johnson, the British Prime Minister, rescued him. We're working on it. Um, basically, um, um, Boris Johnson responded. Now, at times, President Biden has kept a packed schedule. <coughs> 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 Sorry. No. On the day that um on the day that um that President Biden flew to Madrid for a NATO a NATO summit, he met he met with multiple leaders and he finished with a dinner hosted by King Felipe, um the eleventh and Queen and Queen Letizia of Spain. On another day though, he skipped evening festivities with other leaders and his public schedule finished with a three thirty um um, PM event. Now the aides say that he, now his aides say that he was busy and stayed up working late each night of the trip out of the view. Um, just as they as just as they say they expect him to do in the upcoming week, as he hits the road while he visits Israel and Saudi Arabia, which are the next two places on his list to go visit. Um, now if you like the video, you can get the video like and subscribe to my channel RBW King. You can also hit the notification bell so that you be notified when a new video comes out. And if you want to support my work even further, you can donate to my Patreon link, which you can find in the about section of YouTube. And for just a little as a few bucks a month, um, your donation can help go a long way. And thanks for listening.